Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Monday, the 25th day of September 2023. And our topic for today says, Claim His Peace. Let us pray. King of glory, the everlasting one, our God who reigns in majesty, the one who fills our lives with His peace. Father, we worship and we bless your name. We thank you for loving us and being so mindful of us. Thank you because it is of your mercies that we are not consumed. Thank you because your grace has always been sufficient for us. Thank you for not giving us to the wishes of the enemy. Thank you for filling our lives with your joy and your goodness. Our hearts overflow with thanksgiving. We come before you one more time, Lord, today to receive of your word. We ask that your word would come to us today like rain. Let it shower upon us and let us be refreshed. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from the book of John chapter 14 verse 27. John 14 verse 27 reads, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John chapter 14 verse 27. Our text for today is from the book of Isaiah chapter 66 from verse 12 to 14. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 12 to 14 reads, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. Isaiah chapter 66 from verse 12 to 14. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Once again, our topic for today says, Claim His Peace. And in the body of today's devotional, Our Father and the Lord says to us that since your daddy is called the Prince of Peace, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, you must start behaving like a child of the Prince of Peace. In our Bible reading today, he promised you peace like a river. If you have been finding it difficult to sleep, remember Psalm 127 verse 2 where he said he gives his beloved sleep. When I became general overseer, We had 39 parishes, but there were so many problems. I was always so worried about the work of God. And though I was just 40 years old, my hair had started to turn grey. I asked God, Lord, why? And he said, you are carrying a burden that is not yours. You cannot share my glory. If you cannot share my glory, you cannot share my burden. Let me carry my burden. Right there and then, I stopped worrying, and my hair gradually turned black again. If the devil has seized your peace, you need to claim it back. James chapter 4 verse 7 says you should resist the devil and he will flee from you. At times, you need to fight to get that peace. Initially, when you start resisting the devil, he will act as if he wants to fight. But when he realizes that you are not going to back down, he will flee. When I was very young, I was very small in stature and there was a bully in my primary school. He knew I couldn't defeat him in a fight, so he always tormented me. He tortured me at every opportunity. One day, something moved inside me. I just decided I'm going to fight this boy. I know I can't beat him because he is too big, but we will fight until he kills me and then the government will kill him so that it will be a draw. 
The next time he came to torment me, I said, don't touch me. Shocked, he said, you spoke and hit me. I hit him too and he knocked me down. I got up and hit him again. He knocked me down several times but I kept getting up. After a while, he must have thought this boy wants to die so he ran away and I chased after him. The bully was now running from me because I refused to back down. From that day on, I had peace. Your savior is the prince of peace and he has already given you his peace. John chapter 14 verse 27 Claim it today and it shall be yours in Jesus' name. And we see a resounding Amen in Jesus' name. God bless his word to us today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our topic for today once more says, Claim his peace. And from our study today, our Father and the Lord tells us that our Lord Jesus has given to us his peace already. John chapter 14 verse 27, which is our memory verse for today, reads, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Hallelujah. This was our Lord Jesus Christ speaking before he left us. He must have understood that in our time there would be so much pressure. There would be so many legitimate reasons to lose your peace. There would be worries, sorrows and much trouble. However, his peace is more than enough to swallow them all up. Our God is called the Prince of Peace. He has limitless abundance of peace that He is ready to dispense to us. It is called His Peace like a river. Hallelujah! One very important point to note from our study today is the fact that we can lose our peace when we try to carry a burden and a load that is not meant for us. What happens when you attempt to carry a load that is heavier than your capacity is that you would be crushed under the weight of it. There are certain battles that you do not need to fight. All you need to do is to acknowledge him and lay them at his feet. He told King Jehoshaphat and his people in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15, Hearken ye all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. I believe God is saying the same thing to someone today who is worried and overburdened with so much load. You are thinking, how can I meet up with so much responsibility? How can I overcome these issues before me? God is saying the battle is not even yours to start with. It's not yours in the first place. Can you surrender to me? Can you let me take control? Can you let me fight the fight? In verse 17 of the same chapter, the Lord continued to say to them that ye shall not need to fight in this battle. He says, Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Hallelujah! I am praying the same for that person who has a troubled heart today that person whose heart is beclouded with so much worries, that you would stand still and see the salvation of the Lord with you in the name of Jesus. Imagine that your young child refuses his meal, he refuses also to sleep. You wake up at night only to find him lost in his thoughts. When you ask him what the problem is, he tells you that he is worried and concerned and cannot sleep because he is thinking of how he would pay his next school fees. What would be your reaction as a parent? Do you not think that that worry is needless? How much can that child actually do or achieve by worrying? Our Father in the Lord today tells us how he initially worried when he became general overseer. And God's response to him was that you are carrying a burden that is not yours. Dear brothers and sisters, I want to reassure you today that God will definitely do it and he would do it in a way that only him would get the glory. It would be obvious that this is the hand of the Lord because he does not share his glory with any man. Hallelujah! We also learn from the second story of our Father and the Lord today that fear can make us lose our peace and let life bully us. Scripture makes us understand that fear has torment. So when we give in to fear, 
we open the door to the torments of fear to come into our lives. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and appreciate the Lord for His peace that He has given to us. Say, Father, thank you for your peace that passeth all understanding. Your peace like a river that flows in our lives, washing away every residue of fear and worry. Appreciate the Lord today for filling our lives with the boldness to take on life's challenges as they come and to be victorious over them. Now also begin to ask the Lord, say, Father, if there be anything that worries me, whatever it is that causes me to lose my peace, say, Father, today I hand them over to you in the name of Jesus. I submit them to you. I lay them at your feet. Your word says the battle is not mine but the Lord's. Say, Father, fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord today, say, Father, I subscribe to your peace, therefore I am not moved, I am not worried, I am not bothered, I am not tossed to and fro by the worries of life, because my heart is stayed on you in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare the peace of the Lord over all situations in your life. You can mention them by name. Claim the peace of the Lord over your marriage. Claim the peace of the Lord over your finance. Claim the peace of the Lord over your children. You will not worry over them. Claim the peace of the Lord over every raging storm. Say, peace be still in Jesus' name. Declare in the name of Jesus that we challenge every challenger in our lives and we put them to flight in Jesus' name. Declare that we receive boldness from the throne of grace to face the enemy. We refuse to be cowards and to run away. We overcome and we are victorious and we enjoy the peace of the Lord. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Glorious Redeemer, we thank you for all that you do in our lives. Thank you for your word that you have brought our way today. Thank you for filling our lives with your immeasurable peace. We ask, O oh Lord, that your peace would continue to reign in our lives and to flow in us like a never-ending river. Let it wash away every trouble, every anxiety, every doubt and fear in our lives. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in our study today that tells us sometimes you have to fight for your peace. Resist the devil in prayers and he will leave you alone. We receive the grace today to resist the enemy and to have him flee from our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We also have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Habakkuk chapter 1 down to chapter 3. We sincerely thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 29 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, When peace like a river attended my way. Have a blessed week ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. Enjoy the peace of the Lord. We love you and bye for now.
Enjoy today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.